They are calling it Southern California's greatest archaeological find, at least for its age group. A routine Southern California Edison construction project in San Timoteo Canyon, just west of Beaumont, has uncovered the fossilized remains of more than 1,400 animals and hundreds of fossilized pieces of flora and fauna. The fossils are estimated to be one million years older than those found at Los Angeles' La Brea Tar Pits. It's that distinction that makes the find so significant, according to Edison officials. Now a team is sorting through the fragments and larger pieces at a lab in Riverside. It seems like whenever you guys, whenever everybody any does any kind of big project, there's sort of an expectation that we're going to find something. Um, is that what you guys expect? Well, we, we always have to plan our projects as if we're going to find something. For this project, based on historical records and talking to people in museums, we knew there would be things here, and so that's why we had our plan and our monitors in the field to follow the grading to make sure that if we found something, we didn't ruin it at the same time we could preserve it for scientific study. And the project that, that uh, you guys are working on right now, what is that project? It's a substation, the El Casco substation, and that's part of the Edison infrastructure improvement, so we're doing that all across the 50,000 square mile service territory. So talk, talk a little bit about the uh, process. It's like, uh, did they, did someone call you? I mean, obviously the, the, the group that's working, working the site say, oh, we have a lot of stuff here. How, how did that work? Oh no! Well, we actually have I have staff that on that work for Edison. I have over 70 people that do biology and archaeology. So we have people in the field, and then we have contract uh, monitors also. So we we monitor during the entire construction time. So as soon as they see something in the soil that looks suspicious, and they stop the work, people come out and uh, you know excavate it and and keep it away from the construction. And historically, San Timoteo Canyon is sort of a well-traveled area. I mean, a lot of Native American yeah. uh, history through there, a lot uh -huh. of early settler history through there. Was it, did you find any, any of that at all? No, we really didn't. I mean, we expected there was um, some thought that there'd be a, an adobe in that area, and we did ground-seeking radar and things like that, but didn't find any of those. No campsites. Yeah, no cultural resources, which we do find on some of the projects up in other parts of uh, Edison territory. So what was the most exciting call you got out of this project? Well, I, think, I mean, the whole thing. I mean, when, when we started getting the materials, we realized that this is a far bigger find than the La Brea Tar Pits. And if you raised in Southern California, everybody knows the La Brea Tar Pits. But I think in terms of just the scope and magnitude of this find, it's just amazing, you know, finding camel fossils, you know, thinking back to camels roaming out in Riverside County areas. It was pretty exciting. And then horses and camels, camels llamas, the big sloth, and we found a number of cats. You know, we found what is the predator or the predecessor of the saber-toothed cat. So, uh, you know, in all just incredibly interesting things, plus plant life that shows that it was uh, far different than it is now. It was wet and marshy, and we have fossil reeds and right. trees and things. What's the fossils will eventually be donated to the Western Science Center in Hemet. For the Press Enterprise at PE.com, I'm Lewis Amistoy.